Hello and welcome to this video on machine learning, where today we would be discussing a certain method of cross-validation as part of our hyperparameter tuning. This one is called leave one out cross-validation. So we are all familiar with the k-fold cross-validation, right, where we have be talking about setting a number of a certain number of folds, right? Typically, if you have values of, say, we go for a value of five, okay, if it's three, five, and ten are our typical values, but if we say k is equal to five, and we have a certain amount of data at our disposal, we basically have lots of observations over here, right? Randomly, we are creating subsamples. And in this case, if k is equal to five, we're going to create five subsamples. This is, of course, a simplistic way of looking at it, right? So these will be our five different subsamples. And each time we are validating the data, we take one subset as the test data and the remaining become the training data. So each subset gets a chance of becoming the test data or unseen data at least once, right? And when we say subset, we're talking about all these observations. They would all be getting the same chance of becoming a test data set. However, if we consider a particular observation all by itself, taken as the test observation, and the remainder of the data becomes your training data, we're basically talking about leaving one out in a certain iteration. We are leaving one observation out as testing, and the remainder, let's say we have about n observations, you're talking about n minus one observations given for training. This essentially is what leave out cross leave one out cross validation does, right? We can see how this is computationally very intensive, right? Because you're running that many more iterations <clears throat> where we talked about five folds earlier. Now we are talking about, say, if your N is around 5,000, so you're talking about running 5,000 iterations. Right, or 5,000 models are being tried out. Eventually, of course, we go for, you'll take a look at the cross-validation score. If you end up using leave one out, and the cross-validation score will take the mean of all these 5,000 models that are created, the mean score, and get our, get our best model possible, right? So essentially, we can talk of this in terms of only using leave one out when you have fewer observations, right? We are not talking about having working this with working with this method when you have large amounts of data that is going to not only be very expensive, it's also going to be very time consuming, right? And that that many more chances that we have of developing errors, right? So. If we have, say, our n, which is the number of observations, around in the thousands, okay? So if typically we could say less than thousand or probably in the range of a few thousands, then you would prefer something like a leave one out. And you would only do it if it's critical, right? If your scope of errors is very low, that's when we're talking about fitting the model very accurately, right? And getting a result that barely makes any, if you're talking about classification, barely makes any misclassifications. If you're talking about regression, you're talking about minimizing the <coughs> error term. So essentially, if we don't have a lot of room for error and our data set is pretty small, leave one out cross-validation becomes pretty effective. 